What is up, YouTube? This is Beamy Pizza Kid coming at you with quite the uh, different uh, video than what I'm used to posting. Um, obviously, as you can see, it's not going to be anything Yu Gi Oh! or card game related, but uh, I'm actually going to be branching out into uh, video game streaming or uh, video game. Uh, video game um, replays and whatnot. Uh, as you can see from my intro, I've changed it over to Weed's Gaming Booth, so obviously I gave it a little broader spectrum for what I'm going to be recording a lot. And obviously, as you can see today, we're going to be uh, previewing a game called uh, Heroes of the Storm, which is a newer game. Um, it's about a couple years old, but it's one of the newer games that uh, Blizzard has come out with that basically takes all their heroes from... Um, World of Warcraft, Starcraft, uh, I believe that there's some from, uh, what's it called, uh, yeah, it's like Starcraft, World, World of Warcraft, Diablo, Overwatch, Nexus, there's a whole bunch of different things, like, this is very different, um, type of game than what I'm used to for, uh, especially for, um, this is called MOBA gaming, so I'm usually, usually playing uh, Smite or anything like that. So this is like completely different for me, especially in this game, kind of gaming style. But um, especially with a PC, I'm usually playing console. But uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm just going to give you guys a quick tutorial. Um, this is one of the first guys I've unlocked with the game. Uh, I believe the only other one I had was uh, Reyna. I think that's the only other one I own. So we're just gonna go with Rainer because he's a pretty safe pick for um, starting out this game. We're gonna be playing against AIs and I'm gonna show you how the game uh, actually plays. Anytime you're ready. And again, just uh, while the game's updating, yeah, I'm gonna be playing against PCs. I am doing a special event right now where I'm trying to do um, get MVP or whatnot. So we'll see how I do as far as playing. But um, what differentiates this game from most movie games is that uh, there are no items to buy. So that kind of simplifies things for it. There's no special items that, to increase your attack, movement speed, uh, your, the mana you hold and whatnot. Um, so that's kind of a little, nice little balance they put through here. Also, it's not dependent on, um, you know, how much you level up compared to, like, let's say, like, I'm 5 and 1 and he's, uh, let's say, 1 and 4. Let's say he's really dragging the team down. The levels that you have basically reflect the levels of your entire team. So basically, as long as our team is a higher level than the other team, we're going to be in pretty good shape. So let's just say, like, so basically, if I'm level four, we're all level four. They're level two, they're all level two. So that's kind of nice. That's a nice little balancing um, act that they did with the game. Um, also, in order for um, you to basically level up all your abilities, I believe they update or um, you can upgrade them every three levels. So basically, you get uh, one, four, seven, and uh, so on. So hopefully, this loads up soon, so I can show you what the kind of the layout of the game looks like. Here we go. This is kind of like our healing pool, so whenever we uh, come back, we'll always be coming back to this little game, this little area to heal and get more mana. And as you can see here on the left-hand side, this is where you're going to be upgrading your abilities every three levels. So obviously we have our first level, we are going to be picking for Jim Rainer. Uh, give him some pepper, because that's going to be like every fourth Time basic attack remaining. has an extra uh, damage boost. Ten seconds. Um, the nice thing they also had is that uh, basically, if Five, you need to get around the map fast, four, they give you this little steed. So you just hit Z, two, and it'll put you on, and then you hit hold Z again. And it'll give you back your mount, and then you can uh, go around the map. So that's pretty nice. Uh, down here on the right-hand corner, that's uh, the mini map for the game. As you can see here on the top, that's where you're going to be seeing the. Uh, the levels for all your guys and whatnot, so that's very nice. And again, I'll show you like your level and the level of your uh, enemies. One, so we're gonna try to engage here, pop some abilities, get a quick early kill. Again, the AIs here are uh, kind of dumb, so it wouldn't surprise me if we got this kill. And we did unfortunate, but we're just gonna start uh, hitting this way, try to get some experience. Same as usual for any MOBA and whatnot. And it's kind of nice that we have a tank as well. And uh, that's a nice other thing that the game has compared to uh, most MOBAs is that there's a gate that prevents 
um, you from advancing. So basically, you know, you know, dancing around the turret and whatnot for a turn. <laughs> oh, nice, we got that kill. Um, instead of like hiding behind a turret and whatnot. Basically, That's your opponents can hide back here. It gives you more protection for the defensive team, but also it prevents the advancing team from going around. I mean, you can go through the jungle and get behind here and whatnot. That's very ill advised. There's one, two, three different turrets that will probably kill you, so you definitely do not want to be doing that. A little bit more damage than I should there, but it is what it is. Uh, the lady is going to close me up the face yeah. right now. And as you guys can see, yeah, pretty easy. And again, it's a computer, so you know it is up, but it looks like we were getting pretty low. Oh, good thing we're getting out of there, because I was about to get king. But as you can see, there's a little mana pool. So also, they, um, that was a nice thing they added for the game, is that you don't have to go all the way back to get some Select healing. They the also have uh, healing there. And it looks like we just hit level 4, so now we can That's actually get special. another ability, which I'm going to be getting the, that one. Because uh, basically every time I hit that fourth basic attack for a damage boost, it gives me some healing. So it's uh, so pretty good for the and whatnot. Oh, come on, we can get this one. Oh, I got like damn. Alright, well, I guess we'll just take out this uh, gate here then. And then we're gonna take out this other turret. Yeah, so for, um, the game can go pretty fast depending on the we're playing against AI, so I'm not really surprised at this point that we're doing so well. And again, I'm just doing this just to try and get around uh, um, doing special event and whatnot and trying to get um, a few kills here and there just to get that MVP, hopefully. Oh, okay. I'll get you. Let me, where are you going? Where are you going? Ah, bastard. Yeah, well, it was worth the chase. I guess I'll just take out this turret then. Ability, do so much damage. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I am doing, going to be trying to do a lot more of this from now on. I mean, every once in a while, I will be getting to a um, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Vanguard, other games as well. But I think I might be swapping over to a majority of my games being sort of, sort of kind of like this, just doing a bunch of uh, video game and stuff. And whatnot. Once I figure out. Uh, a game set up for my PS4 and everything else. We'll see. But uh, I, I have a pretty good feeling that this is going to be it from now on, especially if I can get a better gaming computer and everything else. This will definitely be a majority of what my videos will be. And looks like we just unlocked another ability. So we're going to go for the Adrenal Rush cooldown, because the more we can pop that Adrenaline Rush, the more kills we're going to be able to get on our enemies, the more we're going to be able to pop that, um, the, uh, yeah. The um, speed attack boost because that definitely comes in handy. And the more we can pop that, uh, as you can see, like every attack one, two, three. Once I hit a third attack, you'll see it. Let's see if we can find some minions or something. Should be popping up any second. There we go. So, three, boom, that's the uh, third attack. So, every time we hit that, the thing, the more we're going to be able to do that against our opponents, and the more I'll be able to heal basically. I don't know what the hell that was. That was a pretty good uh, alt right there or something. Destroy that. Destroy the gate. Destroy the other turret. So, yeah, if you guys are looking to play this game, um, I would highly suggest definitely. Uh, one of your starting characters probably should be uh, Rainer if you can unlock him. I mean, he's fairly cheap. I bought it, I got it with um, coins. So, um. I mean, that was around like 2,000 gold. Not, it's pretty simple, especially if you're going to be doing the special events that you're doing right now. Um, to get to that 2,000, uh, don't have to spend any. Ooh, crap. Oh, my God. Get out there. That's my nail, actually. Uh, yeah, but it's pretty simple to get the 2,000 gold, especially with uh, the special events running and everything else. You just have to. Uh, do whatever the events ask you to do, and usually their first uh, tier usually gives you like a hundred gold. So if you're completing like ten quests, it's all completely a thousand. <clears throat> it's pretty easy. Uh, but yeah, as far as like starting characters, if you're like me, your usual um, starting character definitely would be uh, would definitely probably be uh, the trainer because he's very easy to use. He has very high sustain. Uh, again, and he's also a very high damage dealer as well. So like you've seen all the different like a couple times already in this game where I popped my uh, adrenaline rush and basically I was able to get those last minute kills and whatnot. So it's definitely uh, definitely one of the easier characters you could pop for this game to try and uh, get some pretty easy kills in there, honestly. 
Uh, what you guys saw actually as far as my upgrade was um, that was going to be my ultimate ability which is a uh, Hyperion basically I call down a uh, battleship and uh, basically anything in its way will basically be destroyed so uh, our guys are pretty good we're already in their base so we're going to go and try and get in on this uh, team fight over here actually no it looks like they're just pushing the lane see if we can actually uh, find somebody to pop this uh, ultimate on I was say, of all the ultimates, his is uh, actually pretty fun. I guess we'll just like start real quick and uh, get our guys to this third cage real quick. But yeah, like I was saying before, most of the mobas that I've actually uh, done in this game, sorry if I'm really drowning it out again, this is uh, kind of new for me to be. Uh, talking and playing at the same time. Usually I'm, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm joking when I'm saying this, but usually I'm the one that's screaming at my allies, like, what the hell are you doing? Uh, I'm just kidding, I'm not really that serious with the game, honestly. You know? Normally I'm the guy that's like, oh, those guys in the game, there's no reason to really be DMing anybody, you know, whatever. It's not really that serious. You have eliminated a key. Where's the enemy? Who would be popping my thing? Who would have popped my ultimate? Yeah, I'll stop the delete guys. That's part of the thing, and you know what? Screw it. There's my ult. That's my ult right there. Happy birthday. You guys can see a bell. Hyperion just flies across the map, and as long as there's anything in its way, it will basically just go. Ability. Ouch, that's kind of hurting. A drilling rush, stud, and so yeah, guys, that's a basic uh, small game. Yes, very well, very nice game. Uh, GG. Um, but yeah, that's basic. That's a basic concept of how uh, Heroes of the Storm is. Um, normally, there are other game modes and other things I can add. Oh, it looks like I did not get the MVP for this game, and I do. I didn't make it to the top. Seriously. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's the basic concept of how the game runs. Uh, you basically just kill the other team and kill their turrets and kill their main base. So pretty fun. As you can see, I'm the level four. This is also another easy way of getting um, gold as well. Like after playing a couple games, I'm almost back up to a thousand. Uh, you get a certain amount of gold after each game, a certain amount of experience. And basically every time you level up your character, you do get a loot crate that um, that can unlock you other characters, give you more gold, and probably some other stuff. But uh, overall, that's the game. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the play style of how I played. Um, I mean, it is uh, the first of hopefully many videos that I will be doing for my channel. But um, until the next video, this is BB368, signing out.